friends we had been talking of life skills the importance of life skills in life and uh, we had discussed 10 life skills out of which uh, i had discussed the first life skill in details the second life skill i want to deal with today is empathy 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 is the awareness of the feeling and emotions of other people it is a key element of emotional intelligence it is the link between the self and the others it is the way how we as individuals understand what others are experiencing as if we were feeling it ourselves we can say that empathy is the ability to accurately put yourself in someone else's shoes to understand the other situation perceptions and feelings from their point of view and to be able to communicate that understanding back to the other person empathy is a critical skill for you to have as a leader essentially having empathy means to be able to connect and experience the nature of someone or something outside ourselves or simply put to step into somebody else's shoes when we experience empathy we feel the urge of relieving hardships from other people's lives and when we do it we get a bit of happiness due to our connection with the person or due to our empathetic and empathetic nature towards him or her the prefrontal cortex of mind is linked to our social behavior our ability to emphasize and empathize and create positive relationships and also our ability to concentrate and focus the prefrontal cortex also thrives on mindful activities such as mindful breathing or you can say conscious breathing and mindful listening or conscious listening in fact eight week mindful studies have shown that the gray matter in the prefrontal cortex of mind develops after practicing mindfulness and allows us to emphasize deeply with others and to better cope with stress empathy is the ability to emotionally understand what other people feel to think uh, to see things from their point of view and to imagine yourself in their place essentially it is putting yourself in someone else's position and feeling what they must be feeling in that condition when you see another person suffering you might be able to instantly envision yourself in it in the position of the other person and feel sympathy for what they are going through when people are pretty well 
attended to their feeling and emotions getting into someone else's head can be a little bit difficult the ability to feel empathy allows people to walk a mile in another shoes so it speaks it permits people to understand emotions that others have the feelings of others for many seeing another person in pain and responding with indifference may be possible but not always you can say that to respond in such a way is not possible for everybody that empathy is not necessarily a universal response to the sufferings of the others there are some signs that show that you tend to be an empathetic person they are first you are good at really listening to what others say or what others have to say people often tell you about their problems you are good at picking up on how other people are feeling next you are able to think about how other people feel other people come to you for advice you often feel a overwhelmed by tragic events coming in other people's lives you try to help others who are suffering you are good at telling when people aren't to being honest you sometimes feel drained or overwhelmed in social situations you care deeply about people you find it difficult to find boundaries in your relationships with other people there are three types of empathies first is cognitive empathy emotional empathy and compassionate empathy cognitive empathy is also known as perspective taking cognitive empathy makes you able to put yourself into someone else place and see their perspective it is useful particularly in negotiations for managers etc it enables you to put yourself in someone else's position but without necessarily engaging with their emotions it does not however really fit with the definition of empathy as feeling with being a much more rational and logical process emotional empathy is also known as personal distress or emotional contagion this is closer to the usual understanding of uh, word empathy but more emotional emotional empathy is probably the first type of empathy that any of us feel as children it can be seen when a mother smiles at her baby and the baby catches her emotions and smiles back or a baby starts crying when he hears another baby crying emotional empathy can be both good and bad it is 
good because we can readily understand and feel other people's emotions this is very important for those in caring professions uh, caring professions like doctors nurses etc it also means that uh, we can respond to friends and others when they are in distress it is bad when we are overwhelmed by the emotions and therefore are unable to respond to it this is known as empathy overload those with a tendency to become overwhelmed need to work on their self regulation and particularly their self control so that they can be better able to manage their own emotions compassionate empathy is usually most appropriate type of empathy the compassionate empathy is consistent with what we usually understand by compassion like uh, sympathy compassion is about feeling concern for someone but with an additional or additional move towards an action to mitigate the problem people don't need you to feel their pain or burst into tears but they need you to understand and sympathize with what they are going through and crucially either take or help them to take actions to resolve the problem that is compassionate sympathy or empathy in experiencing compassionate empathy we should strike the right balance between the logic and the emotion just as we feel another person's pain as if it were happening to us and therefore express appropriate amount of sympathy at the same time we can also remain in control of our own emotions and apply reasons to the situation this means that we can make better decisions and provide appropriate support to them when and where it is needed or it is necessary there are two other types of uh, empathies like uh, somatic empathy that is feeling else pain someone else pain physically then there is uh, spiritual empathy which is defined as a direct connection with a higher being or consciousness it is the same as enlightenment we can develop our empathetic skills by trying to experience the major differences among people by learning to identify your own feelings develop some emotional intelligence and regularly asking others about their perspectives thank you so much jai hind jai bharat